microscopic holes in the gut wall, which food molecules can go through, and then the body treats them like a pathogen. So you react to a food as though it's a poison or an unwanted germ instead of a food. Regular intake of either a fermented dairy product or a probiotic, you seal the gut wall so those molecules don't get through. So that keeps you in much better shape. All the long-lived cultures in the world, the Afghans, the Bulgars, the Okinawans, all have fermented foods in the diet. So whether it's tempeh, miso, sauerkraut, kefir, yogurt, um, and for very sensitive people, yogurt causes the least problems. It's the lowest in that diet. If you react to the casein, which is the protein, that won't help. Uh, it's a smaller percentage of people. Um, one reason I've never been a fan of cow's milk is if you feed an infant cow's milk, there's a very small percentage, but there's enough, that protein will split the gut wall. That's not something you want to happen in the first year of life. Then you set up for disease later on, a little more serious than IBS. So work with the body. We were designed for breast milk, I know it's stating the obvious, but we work. Uh, and up to the age of five. When people ask me, oh, is cow's milk good for my child? Well, yeah, if you want them to wait for his son, it's excellent. Um, first clue is cows don't drink the stuff. Alright? Now we shouldn't take a hit, right? It's for growing calves. Did anyone here produce a calf? No. Uh, for those who are dead key, you can get breast milk ice cream. Um, but when I've suggested this to people, I don't want to put that on my cereal. Um, but they might have to put cow's milk on their cereal. And the next cheeky does is, I want to see a woman's medical history. Uh, well, did you go to the field and check the cows? See which antibiotics had been on recently and which GM food had been fed prior to being turned into milk? I know. Um, keeping the gut floor, we're talking about IBS now, but there are side benefits. If your gut floor is in better shape, your immune system is in better shape. Ideally, you start as you go through the birth channel and you take the bacteria from mum and that sets you up for life. Uh, if you've been delivered by caesarean, one of the tips, and you're breastfeeding, is to put probiotics on the nipple, and then the child will still get it all start and get bacteria in that way around. Between 30 and 70 percent of our immune systems in the gut, depending on who you speak to. So keep that in check. I know we're looking specifically at IBS, but that's a lot of benefits. Your insistence to generally 